Hey Capricorn, this is Aquila for your monthly reading for the month of January 2015. First, I want to say happy birthday to all you Capricorns that celebrate your birthdays in January. This is going to be a wonderful beginning of a new year. So, last year we had Saturn, your ruling planet, move from Scorpio into Sagittarius, which is going to be cool because that's your 12th house of undoing the way you get in the way of yourself, Cap. So, for January on the 3rd, we have Venus, the planet of love and money, moving into your second house of possessions and material gains. So this definitely means you're going to have a lot more energy um, regarding um, you making money, Capricorn. We have on the 5th, Mercury, the planet, of the planet of communication, also entering into your second house of communication. Now, this definitely does mean you're going to have a lot of speech going into your finances and the way that you're going to be making money. The first card that I got for you, Capricorn, for the month of January is the trust card. So you have to be open to the unexpected, Capricorn, and you have to trust your intuition. This is what this card is basically saying. This is the Queen of Pentacles. So it is about trusting your intuitions and your gut feelings and basically being positive in um, certain endeavors and certain things that you're going to be doing um, regarding you um, going through with the money aspect and you trying to make something go well for you when it comes to your finances. We have on the 5th, a full moon in your 7th house of partnership and marriage. Now... When there's a full moon, that doesn't mean there is going to be some bearing fruit of certain things. So maybe something you've been working with with your relationships regarding any partnership. It can be a business partnership. It can be a friendship. Um, also marriages. Um, so there's definitely going to be some showing fruit of something. If you've been working hard on something, it's going to start showing you that hard work that you've been doing. We also have on the 12th, Mars, the planet of action. Moving into your third house of communication, Capricorn. Now, this is going to be wonderful because this is definitely going to be helping you in communicating in ways that you want to get things done regarding, um, it can be also in your relationships and in your money sector. So there's a lot of concentration uh, in the month of January around people that you know and the money that you're going to be making. The second card that I got for you, Capricorn, is rightness. This is really good because it's the nine of pentacles. It's a money card. So... You're reaching for your goals. Um, you're definitely sticking and focusing on material gains right now, Capricorn. This is what this card is symbolizing. It's also telling you that you're trying to be more self-reliant. You're trying to be more um, independent. Uh, if you are independent, you're trying to find other ways of you even being more independent than you already are and not relying on anyone for anything at this moment right now, Capricorn. Now, we have also... Um, also, regarding your job and career, this card also has to do with your job and career as well, Capricorn. Now we have on the 20th, a new moon in your, wow, in your second house of possessions. Then we also have Mercury, the planet of communication, retrograding in your house of possessions. Now, what this means is a new moon means it is going to be a seed planted um, regarding your 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 regarding your money, your possessions, material things that you have, anything that you own that is bought by money, there is going to be a new way of thinking or something new is going to be planted. It's going to take some time, but this definitely does mean there is a pushing forth with that. The third card that I got for you, Capricorn, on your beautiful birthday month, those that celebrate in January, is Breakthrough. Really wonderful card. Um, so this does mean there is going to be a reflection, search for truth, decision making. Uh, this is a justice and fairness card also. Uh, probably dealing with some legal matters if you have anything going on. Um, this is definitely like dealing with contracts. If you have any contracts or things that you need to get done, uh, legal work. Um, also breakthrough. Also it can mean in certain things that you weren't having breakthrough in before Capricorn. Um, with your ruling planet moving from one sign to another, which is a big deal. This happened in December 20 on December 23rd. It's a big, big deal because anytime your planet moves, that's where you go as well. And right now Saturn is in the house of of undoing for you Capricorn so it is going to be some restructuring of self for you um, this month we have on the 27th um, by the way on the 21st going back up when Mercury does retrograde it is not a good time to buy computer um, computers laptops anything that has to do with communication we might want to keep that until you might want to hold that off until Mercury goes direct so just hold off on that check text messages double check um, emails that you're going to be sending there is going to be some delay in that department Capricorn so we're going to move to the 27th. We have Venus, the planet of love and money, coming into your third house of communication. Now, this is wonderful because 
at first Mercury at the beginning of the month is going to be in, I mean Venus at the beginning of the month, excuse me, is going to be in your second house of possessions. So you're going to be focusing on that. Your love and attention is going to be on making your money. Now Venus is going to shift at the end of the month from the from your house of possessions to your house of communication. So the way you're going to be communicating yourself, Capricorn, at the end of the month of January is going to be really beautiful. You're going to be uh, definitely watching what you say and making sure that it's coming from a, a nurturing place for yourself and the people around you. You've been doing a lot of cleaning up since last year, so hopefully that will that's going to definitely break in and work out with this with this planet coming into your communication sector. This is wonderful, Capricorn. I wish you all the best. All of you guys that celebrate your birthdays in January, enjoy. This is going to be a great year. Please be positive. You have to be positive. Remember, you have the trust card with your emotions. Trust, okay? Unexpected. Follow your heart, your, your emotions, your gut feelings. We have also the ripening card. So it is a time to think about your finances and what it is that you're going to be doing. And then we have breakthrough. So there is going to be something happening um, regarding something that you've probably been working on for a while now. So that is your monthly reading for the month of January. I'm Aquila Capricorns, and I'll see you guys again next month in February. Thank you.